Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do another quick video about the sort of fundamentals of carving today um, and it's mostly around a, a question that I get asked a lot which is how long does it take to carve something? Um, now obviously that's a very open-ended question, almost like how long is a piece of string, um, but there are a few kind of things to consider when thinking about it. Um, so what I'm going to do, let me just swing the camera around a little bit to give you a bit of a view of something other than just me sitting here. Um, and I'll take you through my thought process of kind of what I think about it. Right, so I'm still carving away on this little uh, coffee spoon. And it kind of goes to sort of sh demonstrate one of my points is that, you know, carving can take as long or as short a time as almost as you like, you know, subject to a few things. Now obviously, making something like a spoon, um, as opposed to something like a giant serving platter, you know, there will be differences in those sort of times anyway. So I'm gonna focus just on this simple spoon, which is what I used in the last episode. Um, and there's a number of things that will factor into how quickly this will get carved. Now, first and foremost, um, are you using green or seasoned wood? Um, this is seasoned, um, so in theory, this will take less time because I don't have to allow it to dry, um, I don't have to risk about it cracking and that kind of thing. But in the same breath, seasoned wood, generally speaking, is harder than green wood. Um, so it can be a little bit tougher, takes slightly longer, um, but when you factor in things like drying times, um, seasoned wood is generally a quicker carve. Now, what else did I want to say? Um, I mean, there's several things really. Um, time constraints not uh, being probably the first one. You know, so if you are a busy person, you know, if you've got a busy lifestyle, you work full time, um, you know, you've got a family to think about, you know, or you, you enjoy doing a lot of other things and different hobbies with your friends, um, you're not going to have the time necessarily to sit down for a couple of hours or what have you and carve something from start to finish. Now there's nothing wrong with that and it's something I do very, very often. Um, what I will do is I will make a start on something, I'll maybe rough it out, put it away, come back a day or so later or maybe even a week or more and then I'll carry on. Um, so obviously if you're not doing everything in one go, it could take, I don't know, a couple of weeks, maybe a month. Um, but in actual carving time alone, um, it really does come down to your skill level. So, for example, if it's your very first spoon, and I think I used this example in my last video, if it's your very first spoon, I mean, mine took me about two weeks, and that was off and on carving, um, but it was probably, I don't know, maybe a couple of days of, if, if I added all that time together, it was probably a couple of days worth of carving because I wasn't really sure what I was doing. Um, I was kind of taking things very, very slowly. I wanted to make sure that I was doing it right and I wasn't going to mess it up. Um, what else did I want to say? I mean, I've mentioned skill level. You know, as I said before, the, the more you carve, the better you will get at it. Um, and then, yeah, I think, that, I think that's kind of the same for most things in life, really. The more practice and the more repetition you do of something, the more accustomed you become to it um, and the easier it generally becomes. Now, physical ability, and I think that's different to your skill level, um, you know, you may have a physical disability. You may be feeling under the weather. Um, you know, there are many, many different things that will affect how you kind of feel and your ability to do something I mean I often find I will come out to my workshop some weekends and I just really cannot muster up the enthusiasm to do very much um, now most days I'll have a plan in mind there'll be a couple of videos I want to shoot for YouTube maybe a couple of projects I've got going on that I want to finish off um, and that's fine you know and I will generally do that but sometimes if I come out here with no real plan uh, maybe I've been busy over the weekend and I think I really should come out here and just do something. Um, and often I will kind of sit around here and I will kind of think, right, what can I do? What offcuts of wood do I have? What do I feel like making? And I'll, and I'll kind of procrastinate for a while. Um, and eventually, 
what I say eventually, sometimes I'll end up just sitting here going, do you know what, I really can't actually think of anything I, could, I want to do. There's nothing is kind of, you know, sparking in my mind. I want to make a spoon, I want to make a bowl, I want to make a, a, a spatula, for example. Um, so in the end, I will leave it, because if I'm not in the mood for carving, um, I'm not going to enjoy doing it. Um, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. I think people put a lot of pressure on themselves to think, oh, I'm making this thing or I, I, I'm going to make a thing um, and therefore, you know, I must do it. And that's when you end up not enjoying the carve. You don't enjoy, you know, what is essentially your hobby. Um, so really, if you feel, if you don't feel up to it, if you don't, if you're feeling unwell or you're just in that kind of mindset where you just don't really fancy it, um, you know, I would say don't bother. I've I've caught myself short in the past where I've been I've I've sort of said to people, oh, you know, I'm going to make some some little carved gifts for people as stocking fillers for Christmas, um, and I've I've left. Oh, I've got plenty of time, and it gets to kind of October, November time, and I think, oh, do you know what? I'm really running out of time now. Um, and you know, I've got quite a large family. So there's normally quite a few of these kind of gifts that I will make, um, and it will get to a point where. I will force myself to do it because I've kind of set myself that target of I'm going to give these people things for Christmas, um, but I end up not enjoying it. And there's nothing worse than having a hobby that you really, really enjoy most of the time and then putting a time scale or some pressure on yourself um, that stops you from enjoying it. Um, now, going back to the purpose of this video, you know, how long does it take to carve something? Well, I would say for me, something like this little spoon here so it would have taken me i don't know maybe half an hour to rough it out with an axe it's taken me probably another half hour 40 minutes to reach this stage um, and this is kind of getting close ish now to being ready for sanding now i generally always sand my work i prefer the finish that, that sanding gives um, and that i mean the sanding is probably one of the longest processes i reckon that, that once this is ready for sanding it's going to take me about an hour um, i'm quite particular when it comes to sanded finishes um, and i generally take it to a level beyond what it needs uh, but that's just me um, and, and my mindset maybe i've got a little bit of ocd i'm not quite sure um, but that's kind of how i will deal with a spoon it'll probably take me I don't know, add all the time together if I don't do it all in one go, it'd probably take me about two hours.